Runners approaching the starter, the flag has been raised, set to go, and they're off. They're racing for the off the fence on youtube.com forward slash at the races, novices, handicap, steeplechase, heading off towards the first of 19 fences. And Marco Island's one of the first to begin the red jacket, yellow diamond, striped sleeves, quartered cap, out deep. Lyrical Genius also prominent, maroon and pale blue to the inside with the stars on the sleeves. Fenland Tiger right up with the pace in the brown jacket with the white cross belts between horses. Here's fence number one. Lyrical Genius, just the first to rise, put in a nice leap. They've all gone over fence number one fine. Better for everyone races second last in the pale blue and yellow quarters, hoop sleeves. And the back markers, Iberio in the purple and red quartered jacket with the yellow sleeves and the red cap. And that one's been settled by Michal Nolan, about seven off the leader, which is Lyrical Genius and Lily Pynchon as they take the turn on the top end of the track. So swinging left-handed towards a plain fence, fence number two, Lyrical Genius in front, lobbing along on a tight rein by about a length and a half to Marco Island, returning from an eighth-month absence, racing in second position as they negotiate fence number two. All over that okay. Better for everyone, jumped up nicely to the inside for Tom Cannon, Fenland Tiger a little bit deeper for Jonathan England, and Iberio at the back. So about to head down towards an open ditch, this is fence number three, Lyrical Genius. Once again, jumps well, but a particularly good jump by Marco Island, who saw a stride and practically landed upside, Lyrical Genius on landing. So all fencing okay at the moment as they turn left-handed, coming back towards the home straight. Four plane fences await them down here before they head off on their final circuit. Next up, fence four, they're over that okay. Slight mistake by Iberio towards the back, who doesn't really seem to be Travelling that smoothly at the moment. So left-handed they come, facing up to this line of four fences. All plain. Next up, fence number five. Lyrical Genius by three parts of a length to Marco Island racing second. Couple of lengths to Fenland Tiger towards the outside of Better for Everyone. And the back marker, Iberio, heading down towards fence number six then. And uh, Lyrical Genius continues to press on in front here. Good second over three miles six at Exeter last time in the mud. Arrives at this fence with a lead of a couple of lengths and jumps well again. And presses on towards the next fence number seven. It'll be the second last in the circuit's time. Lyrical genius by just over a length to Marco Island racing second. Length and a half back to you. Better for everyone going the shortest way for Tom Cannon down the inside rail at fence seven. Fenland Tiger a little bit wider of that one. And the back marker Iberio. So heading down to fence number eight then, this will be the last next time around, and probably seven or eight lengths separate the five runners. Marco Island comes for a share of it. Another lovely leap by a lyrical genius towards the inside. Heading up to the winning post then, a circuit to go in this off the fence on youtube.com forward slash at the races, novices, handicap, steeplechase, and still all to play for here. Lyrical Genius passes us with a lead of just over a length to Marco Island racing second. A couple of lengths to better for everyone towards the inside of Fenland Tiger. And no move from Iberio who has latched onto the field at the back. And is jumping a little bit more smoothly now as they take the left-handed turn. Heading off towards the water jump which is going to be fence number nine. Lyrical Genius and Marco Island pretty much together then as they race away from us heading down towards this water jump. Lyrical Genius over in front narrowly to Marco Island. Fenland Tiger out deep. Better for everyone towards the inside. And Iberio inching a little bit closer at the back. All getting a good sight of fence number 10, a plain one. And all jumping well at the 10th. Pressing on to an open ditch. Fence number 11 upcoming. Lyrical Genius just encouraged along by Lily Pynchon for a stride or two as they go towards this fence. Comes up well again though. Gets away by a half to Fenland Tiger, who's now gone smoothly through into second place. Fenland Tiger, who won on his chase debut at Carlisle this season. Moves through into second behind Lyrical Genius. They've completed the circuit. And they're going towards the top of the hill. Next up will be fence number 12. Lyrical Genius holding the inside rail. Fenland Tiger out wider. Iberio moves through on the outside of Marco Island. And on the inside, better for everyone. Three in line behind the front two as they take the fence at the top of the hill. All over fence 12, okay. Lily Pynchon just having to work on Lyrical Genius to keep him interested and keep him in front as they begin the descent then towards that line of three fences, bringing them back down the side. Next up will be fence number 13. A little bit of a run before they arrive at it. Lyrical Genius by about a neck to Fenland Tiger racing second. 
Right in the wing mirrors behind them, between horses is Marco Island, deep route Iberio, and on the fence, better for everyone, and only three or four lanes separating the five runners, still all to play for here. At fence number 13, Lyrical Genius once again is good. Jumps by a half length to Fenland Tiger, who also took it well. And then better for everyone who's travelled fine on that inside fence in third. Iberio just shaken up behind them. Marco Island's jockey's getting lower in the saddle as they take the turn. Rick Stingle over the next. That's an open ditch. And a mistake by Marco Island towards the back. And Iberio wasn't overly smart. So they're turning back towards another plain fence. This is fence number 15. And it's five fences from home. Lyrical Genius worked onto the inside of the smooth-travelling Fenland Tiger. They rise and land together. A mistake by Better for Everyone back in third. Marco Island's just pulled up. Iberio's back in fourth. They take the turn towards the home straight. And Fenland Tiger's travelling all over Lyrical Genius at the moment. But Lyrical Genius does battle. And he's a stayer. Down the straight they come. Back towards the fourth last then. Fence number 16. Fenland Tiger the near side. Lyrical Genius trying to stick with him over on the far side. A gap's opened up to better for everyone and behind that one Iberio is kept going but Fenland Tigers cruise to the front here Jonathan England hasn't breathed on him yet here's the third last fence coming up fence number 17 Fenland Tiger pricks his ears at it jumps well lyrical genius over in second staying on towards the near side is better for everyone Fenland Tiger now being set alight as they go down towards the second last Fenland Tiger by two lengths better for everyone trying to close in second at the second last now Fenland Tiger jumps well gets away by three Three lengths, better for everyone, still trying to close. One fence to go here, and Fenland Tiger's in the clear, and he's going further clear. He's gone four or five lengths up. Here's the final fence. Fenland Tiger jumps a little bit right-handed, but jumped it well. Better for everyone over in second. is still trying to mount a challenge. They go inside the final half furlong. Fenland Tiger being kept up to his work. is seeing off the challenge of better for everyone. And up towards the line, Fenland Tiger wins for Sam and Jonathan England. Back in second, better for everyone. Third place goes to 